I've learned so many languages because uh, I'm hooked, basically, on learning languages. I think every new language to me is like a new world. It's a completely new adventure and uh, you meet totally different people. You have totally different experiences. I often say when, when you visit a country, when you um, speak the language, you really get to know that country. You really get to explore it for yourself. But when you visit a country and you don't speak the, the local language, you're relying on other people to explain what's happening to you. They're kind of, they're showing you their version of the country, but you can't really see it for yourself. Um, all, all of the languages that I speak are fun. I think that's why I've stuck with them and enjoyed speaking them. Um, I think I have the, the, the deepest emotional connection with Greek because my grandmother was from Greece and so uh, we use Greek in my family as well and I've, I've heard it ever since I was a child. But um, I also really like speaking German. Um, there are so many languages that I would love to learn in the future. As I said, I'm hooked. So. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm very interested in Chinese at the moment. Um, I work with um, someone from China who's teaching me little bits and um, I think it's really cool when I hear her speaking to her family or friends on the phone in Chinese and think, wow, wouldn't it be really awesome to speak that? Um, I also, I organize um, an international conference for polyglots every year, which moves countries. So um, last year it was in Iceland and this year it's going to be in Slovenia. So I'd like to learn some Slovene as well before we go there for the weekend. I always feel a little bit guilty that I'm from the UK, but I've never really learned any of our local languages here. So I've never learned Welsh, I've never learned Irish, I've never learned Scottish Gaelic. And um, I went to Wales recently and, and loved that we had everything in two languages. You walk into the supermarket and you see all these languages everywhere. And I thought, I think it would be really cool to learn a language which is very close to where I live and that I could use. So I'd love to learn Welsh one day too. The, the biggest challenge for me for learning a new language was with Russian. Um, there were a number of things that I wasn't expecting to be hard that were. Um, for example, there's a whole new alphabet, which it's not too different to English, you get used to it, but when you're trying to learn a word, um, it's just an extra barrier to memorizing that word. First having to read it and understand what all of the letters mean, and then having to actually memorize it. So there's that extra layer there. Um, technology has been an amazing resource for me, um, especially when I was growing up actually with um, YouTube and things like that. I was able to sort of come home from school and immediately immerse myself in this world um, of another language. I could just watch uh, videos in different languages all evening and it was like I was there. It was like I was living in the country. So um, the internet has brought all of those cultures much closer to me and, and made them much more accessible. And um, since then, I think there's, there's now a lot of um, technology out there to help you learn vocabulary or to teach you grammar.